Man, it's been a super soggy start mm -hmm. to fall. Some of these mm -hmm. areas have had, I think, you know, over eight inches mm -hmm. in the last four or five days. It's just unbelievable. The forecast, though, looks great tomorrow. But even if a few showers sneak in, the Village Point Farmers Market will be open. Rain or shine, that's the way they roll. That is. Katrina <laughs> Wolf is the market manager. Also with us today, Justine Petch from Douglas County Farm Bureau. Good to see you all. Welcome back. Nice yeah. to meet you, Justine. All right. It's officially, summer's officially over, right? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean... Uh, the fruits and vegetables are, are out of season because this is the, the peak time, isn't it? It really is. It's the best of both seasons right now. We still have a lot of the summer veggies still still going, and we have a lot of the good fall vegetables mm -hmm. and produce in, in season right now, too. Give us something specific to shop for tomorrow. Oh, you got to shop for your squash. Mm -hmm. Sp um, spaghetti squash is always Ooh, good. Yeah, and, and a lot of people are starting to use that now as a substitute for pasta and mm -hmm. really trying to get healthy and incorporating that into their diet. So that's good. Were you going to give us something else? Um, just, yeah, just the squash. We have a great apple vendor right now, too. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Crazy Woman Farms. So mm -hmm. Can you still get sweet corn? That. I know it's been picked. There's, uh, there might a be bit. a little bit of sweet corn left this mm -hmm. um, this week, but it should be about the last week. And of that. pumpkins. And there they so are. It's time to get those out, decorate those with the kiddos, Gourds put them on the front porch. And pumpkins. So good. Is there a guy, is he with Daniels? Yes. What's yes. his story? Uh, he's just an artist. He's a really uh, fabulous painter, and he mm -hmm. paints some of the pumpkins on his display, and they are just, they're, they're selling like hotcakes. They're really, really cute. And he's a member of the Daniels produce family. Yes. Like he's yeah. not just an artist they bring in. No, no, uh -huh. he's one of the farmers. I That's noticed, cool. I noticed you had something new. I don't know if you went to a parlor recently to get that on your arm, but <laughs> check that bad boy out. Look at that tattoo you got. What's the story with this? Well, I love farmer's markets, and I, no, um, we are doing... <laughs> you do, That's that not, is true. I real. really do. Um, real. at, for, um, at the market this week, we are giving away these temporary tattoos mm -hmm. to adults and kids, everybody. Um, we really just want to kind of get the word out that we love farmer's markets at the Village Point Farmer's mm -hmm. Market. And um, so stop by the Village Point Farmer's Market get information tent and um, pick up your tattoo uh -huh. and but that's not where it ends no yeah no so we're also giving away farmer bucks this week lots of them mm -hmm. so if you are um, if you stop by the Village Point Farmers Market information tent and fill out a survey for us about mm -hmm. your experience at the farmers market and what you really like and what you'd like to see um, changed then we will give you a farmer buck mm -hmm. now if you and also a tattoo of course if you fill out a survey and you take a picture of yourself with um, the tattoo on your arm mm -hmm. and you check in at our Village Point Farmers Market um, site on Facebook, uh -huh. then you will receive farmer three, bucks. Farmer bucks. three farmer three bucks. Three farmer bucks. And yes. listen, Yogi Berra um, has passed, and so I will say, farmer bucks are just like cash, because uh, they are. <laughs> and so anyway, get a tattoo. Post online, earn three of these, spend just like cash. It's all good. I missed that. The correlation with Yogi Bear. What, what was it? Because he because he used to say cash. It's just like money. Mm. So that was my. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was good, Mayor. Uh, Justin, <laughs> good to see you. Uh, let's talk about why Douglas County Farm Bureau uh, is involved with the farmers market. So Douglas County Farm Bureau serves um, almost 10,000 members here in Douglas County, mm -hmm. and so they support all rural communities here in the county and so they wanted to take a more concentrated effort um, to get involved with Omaha mm -hmm. and so to start the year off they've done two pretty exciting projects this year they worked with the Omaha Children's Museum sponsoring the Once Upon a Farm yes. we ag were part exhibit of that too that was so cool and so that was a really great way to kind of kick off the year and in working in the community and then they were really excited to have the the opportunity to work with the Village Point farmers market mm -hmm. and so we've been really excited to have a presence there to get to know the vendors um, and to kind of work through the farm to table concepts and and work through some ag promotion mm -hmm. um, activities out there and you've so you've had some good giveaways too haven't you yeah we've we've done a lot of giveaways yeah. each, each week we've been there every week this um, through the summer and through the season and so um, it's really been a, a great opportunity for us to be able to support the farmers yeah. here in Douglas County do you have anything coming on October 3rd that'll be the last Kind of the last hurrah of the season. Anything special in the works? We're doing some balloons, and um, we're going to do a basket giveaway. Mm -hmm. So we're going to kind of do a little like a celebratory end to the season. Mm -hmm. So I can't believe it's been 23 weeks yeah. already. It's mm -hmm. unfair. <laughs> it goes we'll, so we'll, fast. Yeah, it could go on forever. And Katrina, you're going to be back next week to talk about uh, what's coming up next because I know October uh, October 3rd, 3rd. right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep, Harvest Fest. That'll kick. Up, uh, that'll be the end of our season, and we're going to have a big celebration with a lot of different mm -hmm. activities. So, yeah, that's why do you like this off. relationship with Farm Bureau? Oh, it's just been such a great relationship for us. Um, our farmers really appreciate getting to know more about the services that they offer in, throughout the state and in our community, 
and then also um, the customers just enjoy it too, mm -hmm. just learning about all the good work Farm Bureau does in our community. Yeah. And Especially then, if they're winning a grill, Oh for gosh, example. the giveaways, yeah. <laughs> and there's always something right. fun going on. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I know, they've, they've got some, like some of the giveaways, you're like, oh, that's cool. And then some of it, you're like, whoa, wait, a what? Mm -hmm. They did, they gave away a grill. Uh, Justine, thank you for joining us. And thank we you. hope tomorrow is a dry, beautiful day at Village Point. Katrina, thank, thank you. Thank you for joining <laughs> us today. All right, they